So I'm going to show you how to do the neon effect. Um, this one is a little different than previously. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to shading. And typically when you're in shading and you have, you know, some kind of color, uh, you can see this color here. This one, I don't have one yet, so you can see the example. All right, so I can press new over here and I'm going to choose emission. So it's going to emit light and I can change the intensity and that sort of thing. But you really don't see it and this is why we have to do an extra step. So this next step, you're going to come over here and instead of shade editor, I'm going to switch it to compositor. And you're going to check use nodes so that these show up because they're not there until you choose that. And then we're going to go to add filter glare. And when you put that glare in between, um, you kind of get the option to do bloom. And that's what we're after here is that, that cool bloom effect. Um, now it doesn't show yet. Uh, one more thing we have to do is come up here uh, under the right side and do always. All right, so that one more time, we're gonna say compositor always. And what you get is this bloom. Now we could dial it back. There's different settings for getting it to look good. Of course, uh, you're gonna have to play around with that. These two, so this one here, and of course this one under the glare uh, modifier. So you can see that it's kind of doing its thing. Uh, we can change its color because you want say LEDs and shrink it down, scale it down, and be like, hey, look at that. And for example, I did that here. Uh, with these, um, you can see I probably should add some more glare to it. There we go. Um, so that's how you make the LED. So you can, you know, it could be any shape you want. So like a strip would be, you know, rectangle. Or you can, you know, make these real small like this. You know, maybe intensify. Oops, careful, careful on that. You know, like that. And you could, you know, shift D, enter. And duplicate, and now you have two. Okay, so just change the color. So now you, you know if you want. Whoops. Yeah. If I want to add another one, I have to go plus. Um, and remove that one, and add. You know, you'd have to choose a different color. Uh, let me do this right. Sorry. You're going to, because I have the same material there, right? So I'm going to choose this one minus. So it has no material add a new material emission and I'm going to choose the color that I want let's go blue LED here and I'm going to give it some give it some juice and there we go that's how you do the new version of the bloom effect so this is the new updated I would recommend that immediately put yourself back in the shade editor because that's where you do most of your uh, texturing and so forth and not to be confused because this window, you have shade editor, you might have compositor with the glare thing, and that's a different different idea. So just get in a habit of making sure that that's back in shade editor once you're done getting your LEDs going. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, now with the spaceship, the idea is this. In edit mode, we're going to click on a surface, E, enter, S, scale it in, right? Maybe E, enter, push it back. And then maybe one more time, E, enter, S, scale it down. Whoops, careful, not too much, not too much. That, and then maybe just pull on it to make a thruster looking thing, right? So coloring this, we're going to go to our shaders Let's go to actually let's go to shading all right i'm going to color the entire spacecraft one particular color whatever it is but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say plus new and i'm going to choose emission all right i'm going to choose like a fiery red maybe I give it some oomph and now i need to do is go to compositor use nodes add filter and glare drop it in choose glare or sorry choose bloom 
and over here we make sure we say always now let's see if I did this right because I should be able to increase the power here uh, oh sorry a sign that's right the magic because if I have this selected and I check a sign it's gonna sign the blue but actually I want to assign the cool thruster there we go I'm gonna back it off to something like that now the same could apply to say a window let's say I have oh I don't know maybe this one here I'm gonna go to plus new choose emission I'm gonna choose a yellow color and a sign and let's see if I turn this up. There we go. We got some light there. Not too bad. Something like that. So we got the red in the back, the yellow in the front. <clears throat> On the side of the ship, I'm going to do is, uh, you know, subdivide this a bit. I'm going to hold shift and click a few of these. Maybe go to plus, new, and again, emission. I'm going to choose a red or no, actually yeah red and a sign give it some give it some pump there see so now i have cool looking ship for those of you who are interested under the world setting here i can make it darker so it's like you know so that's the world kind of have it so it looks like darker space and it can go much darker than that there we go. <clears throat> so that's that idea. For some of you, you may not have object mode. You may not have enough lighting, right? So I have this one light here that's helping me see. But if you have to, uh, watch, if I go back here, you will see that it affects how this looks, right? So you may want to add, uh, this happens a lot. A lot of you guys don't remember to add more light. So I'm going to suggest that you play around with that. You know, add another light source, maybe something out here that looks like it's from a planet. You know, you can also increase that. You can increase the power of the light so it's brighter. Yeah, move my mouse a whole bunch here to make it see. So it kind of gives it that like backlit look. Like as if there was a moon there or something. All right. So that's the goal. Uh, remember to put this back to shade editor later on so that you can you know put on textures if you want to put metal texture on this that'd be kind of cool or anything of that nature all right that is the new bloom effect or um, neon lights